Allergy-related diseases are among the most difficult and frustrating problems encountered in veterinary medicine today. Whether canine, feline, or equine, the ACT Allergy Management Program is a comprehensive plan that addresses all aspects of a patient's allergy needs. Our program includes serum allergy testing, custom immunotherapy treatment, professional consultation, and pet owner education. While there is no cure for allergies, they can be managed effectively with immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is the safest, most effective long-term treatment available for allergies. It works by gradually building the body's tolerance to the specific allergens that are causing the patient's discomfort. It is the only treatment that can actually reverse the course of allergic disease and reduce the body's sensitivity to the allergens that are causing the patient's symptoms. The ACT Allergy Treatment Program now offers two options for immunotherapy, allergy shots and allergy drops. Allergy shots have been used in veterinary medicine with great success for several decades. They are administered subcutaneously and are most often given by the pet owner at home. Recently, allergy drops have emerged as a viable alternative for the treatment of pet allergies. Also referred to as sublingual immunotherapy, Allergy drops have become a favorable option because they are needle-free, easy to administer, and just as effective as allergy shots. This new method involves placing drops twice daily under the patient's tongue, inside the lip or cheek, also known as a sublingual mucosa. The sublingual mucosa is part of the mucosal immune system and consists of the mucosal linings inside the mouth. That includes areas under the tongue, inside the lip, or inside the cheek. This area of the body has highly specialized properties that make it an ideal environment for the production of allergen-specific tolerance, which is a goal of immunotherapy. The sublingual mucosa has the highest concentration of dendritic cells found in the body. Dendritic cells are a type of immune cell that are critical to the success of immunotherapy. Sublingual dendritic cells capture and present allergen antigens to regulatory T cells that are required for the suppression of allergic responses. Dendritic cells are also tolerogenic, which means that they produce regulatory proteins important for the suppression of allergic responses. One of the key reasons why immunotherapy is so successful in reducing allergic symptoms is that it blocks the production of IgE. IgE is the antibody responsible for driving the inflammatory cascade that causes the symptoms. So if IgE production is blocked, symptoms are relieved. While both sublingual and subcutaneous methods of immunotherapy stimulate IgG production, an additional advantage of sublingual immunotherapy is the stimulation of IgA. IgA is the antibody that predominates in the mucosal linings of the body, and IgA works in the same way as IgG to block IgE production. Several factors should be considered when selecting a treatment method for a patient, including the temperament of the pet, the lifestyle of the pet owner, and the frequency of dosing. Each treatment set is a custom formulation containing only the allergens that were identified as necessary by allergy testing. A glycerin solution is included in the mixture to provide antigen stability and gives the allergy drops a slightly sweet flavor. Most pets like the taste of allergy drops. The initial treatment set includes three color-coded bottles green, blue, and red. Patients begin treatment with the green bottle, containing the weakest concentration, and progress to the blue and red bottles, containing stronger allergen concentrations. This allows the patient to gradually build a tolerance for the allergens. The red bottle contains the strongest allergen concentration, known as the therapeutic strength, which is maintained for the duration of the time the pet is on treatment. As with allergy shots, allergy drop treatment is recommended for a minimum of three to five years. The attractiveness of this method lies in its high safety index. Allergy drops are safe because of the unique immunobiology of the sublingual mucosa. First, there are very few mast cells and other inflammatory cell types that would lead to inflammation. Second, the dendritic cells that predominate in this part of the body are highly efficient at capturing all incoming allergen which leads to reduced inflammation. 
At Biomedical Services, we have followed the use of sublingual immunotherapy in humans for a number of years. Allergy drops are in wide use in Europe and are favored by many people. In 2010, a study of the efficacy of sublingual immunotherapy was conducted at the University of Wisconsin Veterinary School. This method resulted in improvement of symptoms and in a reduction of IgE levels. In 2011, we conducted our own pilot study in a group of 73 allergic dogs to assess the efficacy and safety of our own sublingual immunotherapy treatment protocol. Each dog was allergy tested to identify causative allergens, and a custom immunotherapy treatment set was formulated for each patient. Throughout the course of treatment, the pet's response to immunotherapy was monitored by a pet owner and veterinarian at the completion of each bottle. Pet owners were also asked to grade the level of discomfort in their pets by means of an itch scale, where zero means no discomfort and 10 is the highest level of discomfort. Itch scale assessments were also done at the completion of each bottle, green, blue, and red. We found that 77% of dogs participating in the study experienced a moderate to significant improvement in symptoms. We also found a 66% decrease in the level of itch, from 7 down to 2.5. A key finding that emerged from our study is that patients showed significant improvement within just 12 weeks. It is important to remember that every pet responds differently to immunotherapy, and a full year of desensitization should be completed before evaluating the success of treatment. Minor reactions include increased itching, face rubbing, gastrointestinal upset, or lethargy. If any of these reactions occur, discontinue use and contact biomedical services. Minor adjustments to the schedule can be made if the pet is having difficulty tolerating a particular allergen concentration. An important consideration when selecting sublingual immunotherapy is to recognize that allergy drops are administered twice daily, typically morning and night. This frequency of dosing is critical to the success of treatment. In addition, drops should not be given with food or water, as this will interfere with proper absorption of allergens. And pets should not eat or drink for 10 minutes prior to or following the treatment. When your treatment set arrives, please inspect it prior to use. To begin, Make sure that the pump stem is snugly seated into the nozzle before affixing the pump to the green bottle. Prime the pump by depressing it several times until a drop is released. Your treatment set is now ready to use. To administer, rest the nozzle on the lower teeth of the pet or inside the lip between the gum line and cheek. Depress the pump quickly and firmly so that the dose is released. One simple pumping action contains the correct measured dose. When transitioning between bottles, simply remove the pump and place it on the new bottle. Depressing the pump four to five times clears the pump of any remaining old allergen concentration and facilitates uptake of the new mixture. Do not rinse the pump under water when changing between bottles. Remember, begin treatment with the green bottle first, blue second, and the red bottle last. For best results, refrigerate the treatment set when not in use, and to prevent leakage, store the bottles in an upright position. Allergy drops are recommended for patients that have been on allergy shots but have not shown improvement, or for pets that have had adverse reactions to injections. Patients can convert from shots to drops by beginning with the initial allergy drop treatment kit. Conversely, patients on allergy drops can also elect to switch to allergy shots at a later date, but they must begin the injection protocol with the initial allergy shot treatment kit. With two options for immunotherapy, Biomedical Services tailors treatment to the temperament of the patient and the lifestyle of the pet owner, allowing even more patients to receive the allergy treatment they need. To learn more or get started today, call 1-800-444-2370 or visit bmslab.com.